right. So that is done. Collection video. That was kind of hard to work on. It's a lot of information. Anyways, uh, that's not a long um, week to vlog today. It's kind of a... we had three days. I mean, Ramon was here for five days. Jack is gone. I was here for three days this week. So this is gonna be like a different vlog. We're gonna answer some questions later on. But first, let me show you what's, uh, what's happening. What's the update? All right. Hey guys, so it's finally happening. All of this will soon be a very empty room. Um, and hopefully we can get stuff, uh, you know, started in here. Nice and beautiful painted walls, but uh, it's gonna be a lot of stuff to move, so hope you enjoy. Look at that, it's getting cleaned. Slowly, sure. Dude, like, I see progress. Yeah, yeah. I see a lot of progress. The Slowly. table looks better. We got open door. Oh, let me just show you that. Yeah, so we moved some minifigures here. The warehouse is getting filled up with stuff. Ramon was moving a lot of the um, modulars and starting to like organize things as we getting back to that city building stuff, you know? Uh, we still gotta get more tables, but um, that's uh, that's a progress. Definitely a lot of things are moving here. You can see the sun crawler is right now here, so it was moved. Good job of not breaking that too much. It's a bit like broken up, but that's not much of a issue. Actually, we can rebuild it like just as fast. It looks good on the table, so I'm glad it's back in its uh, kind of a glory. Man, this thing looks awesome. Ramon moved some uh, boxes to um, just get some more space in that room. City is getting organized. Yes, so what all this happens because I mentioned before we're getting painters here So you can see that the walls are cleared so now the painters can access the walls and like fix things like that Right, we have to fix things like that. We gotta make it nice and cool looking this playroom So like anybody can walk by and say like whoa, this is so cool There is no mess cases and all these sets or mocks or minifigures we are willing to display are in their proper spots So Ramon pretty awesome job for the longest time that table was a mess. We made that party and we never got back to it. And it stayed for like it. weeks. <laughs> I'm finally, what, what I'm gonna do is once this is all out, cause I'll have it all in different containers. Yeah. I'm gonna move all that and it's finally, finally gonna be put away. So eventually this will be also moved to some spot. Do, you, do we know what we do with that stuff? Just gonna empty this room gonna and like move the, everything to the warehouse? Because we're gonna have the painters and then we're gonna have to also move like displays in here. You guys have to imagine this room being like just gray floor and, and newly painted walls with like ales or, or like pathways of display cases that you can walk around like a museum style kind of thing. Uh, that's the best, I guess, use for this room. So we're gonna see how that goes, all right? And uh, here is one more cool thing we did update. Charlie was working on that. I mean, don't mind the ghost. That's another story. But hey, check this out. That is like a test run for a Yavin 4 display. So what Charlie was doing, he was working on some like uh, equipment for the landing pad. You can see this um, walk walkway above the X-Wing is really cool. He was taking models from the Battlefront game. So he was playing Battlefront and he was trying to like recreate those elements of the environment in Lego form. I like this one a lot. This is like a Technic Pneumatic uh, hose that uh, are, is used in Technics as with pneumatic functions. So that looks really good on that um, sort of equipment towards the X-Wing. We got some pilots going in there, we got stuff. You can see the lights are on, so those are USB lights. You got some USB power right here. To tell you guys, just a heads up, we're gonna make it super big in, in the long run. So stay tuned, this is just, just like a test run, just one of the landing pads that will be part of much cooler display. Also, Ramon did his first stream. Let me just ask him real quick. Ramon, how was the stream? It was so much fun. So if you guys liked Ramon on the stream, he is willing to stream more. I'm okay with that because we really have to get back on streaming. Like me and Jack don't have as much time to stream. So if Ramon's gonna do something cool that we can actually stream, then I'm gonna just ask him and maybe he can stream some, uh, some other mocks as he's building or maybe even some chill streams when he's like sorting bricks, opening packages from BrickLink, things like that. I think it's gonna be cool and uh, yeah. So you guys liked it. So we're gonna try to follow up on that, right? And this one will be in our web store very, very soon, after another mock. Part of this vlog, I want to do a q and I asked you guys on uh, our post on YouTube to post questions. We have selected some of these questions and now me and Ramon will sit down and try to answer some of these for you. Yeah, he says yeah. 
I asked you guys on our post on YouTube to post questions. Uh, there was like a hundred something questions. Thank you so much for the response. <laughs> All right, first question. Jeremy Lee Master asks, has anyone asked you, Ramon, oh. if you reminded them of Cisco Ramon from the Flash TV series, if I mean, hey, you have part of his name, no, like nobody asked you. you. Chose nobody that ever asked so him. purposely. <laughs> Maybe. Yeah, go for it. <laughs> Turns out some people have asked. If, some? Uh, I know. He gets asked he every five minutes. <laughs> if, I, if I've ever watched Flash, you know? Don't know why. Don't see the connection. Can, can, <laughs> you, like, can you like pose like looking like. Does there a resemblance? Maybe. Maybe. <laughs> Lego David asks Do you think the original Lego themes are dying and licensed themes are replacing them? I would say you're you're onto something. I wish to see like more of a comeback of like Ice Planet Classic Space or or Pirates or Castle. That would yeah. be great. What do you think? Well, yeah, that's the same thing. He's even mentioning like you know, there's no more space. There's no more pirates. It's it's no kind more, of true. Like, but Lego is yeah. like I think they search where the money are. So yeah, I mean that's unfortunate. The world is licensed now. Yeah, the world is licensed. That's what's getting them a lot of. Stuff, Everybody but... is either Marvel or Star Wars. So that's what sells. Unfortunately, but, you know, it's, it's I, different yeah. from the '90s. I definitely, I'd like to see more original themes because those are always awesome. But until like they can make some real money off of it. Yeah, it's all about the business, unfortunately. Yeah. So I concur, but I think it's gonna keep, things gonna get licensed more. Sean Vang asks, my question is besides Lego, what other hobbies or interests do you and Ramon have? Everything. No, seriously, like I'm into like everything. You're into like... Uh, Video games, board games. You're into RPGs, right? I love, yep. I play like, I play D&D &D here yeah, every Sunday. <laughs> My hobby is filmmaking, to be honest. I do like some vlogs on the side and things like that. Uh, but I used to be really into like model models, like diecast models. No, not diecast, but like the plastic models back yeah. in the days. And I was into airsoft a lot. I Very wish to come back to Airsofting yeah. at some point. I still like hooked up to it, but I know I don't play here in California, so yeah. <laughs> Time to abandon ship asks, why can't Ramon do a video? He did. One. I, I mean, I'm we, fine. Yeah. You, you should make more videos, dude. Honestly. It's not that I can't. It's that when will I do yeah, more? Yeah, he has as many um, tasks as we have with Jack. Like we are editing and making videos. He's doing a lot of the job on the Lego table. So I think it's stuff do behind the scenes. So if we find time for Ramon to make more videos. Yeah, yeah. people keep asking like, well, yeah, can you I, should, can I do you a should. I think you should. One day, I will, did, I will. He One did day. the live stream, it went really well. I think he did a great job on the live stream. People like that. Um, so I think we should hook you up with more live streams and videos in the future. So that will happen Soon. once we figure out a more effective schedule for that channel. Are you guys ever going to create a minifigure scale MTT? Maybe if one of our designers wants to. Any big scare what? MTT oh, is the big like yeah. droid carrier. People, yeah, no. Ever since we uh, like uh, showed the AAT off, everyone wants it. I want it. I'm a I'm a Clone Wars vehicles fan. So if yeah. the demand is high and, and some of our designers wants to, yeah, yeah sure. That would be a cool. One. That'd be nice. When will the ghost be finished? When it's done. Next question. <laughs> <laughs> That's the only answer I can get. David13, what were your first Lego sets, Michael and Ramon? Oh, I started playing I got Lego something when I was... Duplo when I was like this. Yeah, one. I was gonna say, I was like really young. The first young set I remember as a kid was one of the Lego town sets from 1987, I think. It was like a car, a small house. Yeah, yeah. And like I think I had one of the fire trucks. That was uh, one of your first From ones? like 1980s, that yeah. That, that I remember as a, as a kid nice. that remembers things. I used to play like Ice Planet a lot, I had a lot of those sets. Yeah. So I think that might have been one of the first I had Ice Planet 2 and I had Spirius, that's why I did like uh, yep, those I had Bricks Spirius. from the Past episodes because it was nostalgic. I had a lot of, the, yeah, I had a lot of original Lego, like the, the classic old, like just yeah. the random ones that died off, like Dinosaur Hunter. My favorite like, set was Miners. the Mtron Magnetizer. I got that one for one Christmas and I still like, it's my favorite set as a kid. Oh, Mtron stuff looks good. Yeah. <laughs> what kind of ships are you planning to make, uh, planning to make for the micro scale fleet and will there be a video for it in the future? Yes, there will be video. Yeah. Now it's That's all about happening. Rebel Fleet. That's Jack's concept of a Rebel yeah. Fleet. So, B Wing, A Wing, all the letters, wings, you know. Are you petting so. that fox? I was. Okay. So, it will happen, video will happen. Yeah. Mike, do you have feelings for Jack? 
It's like a love and hate relationship. Are you guys excited for one more final season of the Clone Wars TV series? Super excited for Clone yeah, Wars. Yeah, I mean, more for the sets than for the show. I am just started into the show. I'm in the middle of the show, so it's oh, like... Oh, so we're watching it. It was like coincidentally. They were like, hey, I'm terrible. Right I'm not watching it. Well, because they were like, one more season. I was like, oh, that's a coincidence. Awesome. Ever thought about stop motions with all your Lego? If we hire like a team of 10 people to make stop motions, then yes. Yeah, that's a lot of work. <laughs> so, no, at this point, it's way too much work. Mike and Ramon, what's your favorite Lego line? And who is your favorite character minifig from that line? Star Wars Yoda. I would say Boba. Boba Bo Fett. Boba I love Yoda. the Mandalorian stuff. All right. Yeah, all right. That. What's your favorite Lego Star Wars set of all time? Just smile and wave, just smile and wave. I don't know. I'm not good at favorites. Just go with the Falcon. Everybody loves Falcon. No, I'm gonna go against the uh, Slave One. I think there was a spider under it. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I'm full well, of I believe that. I'm full of cobweb. Unofficial official answer: Millennium Falcon and Slave One. All right. Are you guys thinking about making a giant Star Destroyer in the future? Maybe not making, but stay tuned. Who decides who gets to build what? Fight to for life and death. Yeah, no. Or just rock paper scissors. <laughs> <laughs> or Ninja Go Flyer challenges. That I'm terrible at. <laughs> Where do you store all of your minifigures? Minifigure stands and a shelves that we don't have enough. Who owns all the Lego? Belongs to the channel. Yeah. It's not a personal belonging. It's all about the channel. Besides what we take home, yeah. <laughs> Ramon, who is your favorite band? I guess music band, right? I know what they want. ACDC. No, I know what they want. They want me to say the Ramones. <laughs> that would be perfect. My answer. favorite band is uh, Red perfect. Hot Chili Peppers. Oh, yep. I concur. It's a good yep. band. I like it. Band. All right. What is the best part of Brick Vault? Brick. Vault. Yeah. Why doesn't Brick Vault have more subscribers? Ask people who don't click that button, click yeah, that button, and that button, and that button, and, we, and we all the buttons. It's your job now. You gotta bring it out. Just click, click the button, man. Just click the button. We're gonna be at million at no time. What has been your biggest achievement on this channel? Hiring me. I was, I was gonna say you hiring I was, me I was really as a... Because <laughs> you said it first, I wasn't logic. just gonna copy it. No, jokes aside, I think um, starting the channel. That's the biggest achievement to start. Yeah. It's, it's so hard to yeah, start, no. just like especially, pull yeah, the trigger. Especially nowadays. Yeah. I think starting the web store was the biggest achievement of the ongoing oh, yeah. operations. Like expanding the... The that's, yeah, that's, that's changed up kind of like the game. Into like, like yeah, yeah, like networking but... with designers and bringing those yeah. mocks and bringing. It's like at this point we're working supportive with, revenue to the channel. Yeah, we're so working we can keep with going. so many uh, like you know really like. And we meet talented people because of that, and, and we have yeah. great it's mocks just, on the um, on. A lot of people were deep into it. Yeah, that's that great. that was not the case for like two years, and now it's completely changed the direction mm -hmm. we're going to. So I guess that's the biggest achievement: starting the web store. When will your live stream schedule come back? If he wants to stream more, I mean, we can we can totally get back to that. Stream the winter village. <laughs> you should. Oh, that's funny. We streamed before you joined us. We right, stream yeah. more, but we elaborated on that and noticed that it takes away a lot from our content. So we, someone was always streaming and not working on some different stuff, and now you help a lot with the bricks. Mm -hmm. And now it's like it's it's about finding the balance between if we can stream and if doesn't that take away from the actual work. Personally, I really want Ramon to, to be hooked up on streams more. If I, mean, you are I down would be it. down. If you're down, yeah. 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 It's great. Are the oldest videos on the channel the ones that Jack was talking about? Were him and his brother were in a friend's garage? That was Charlie's garage. That was his home back in Orange County. It just moved to San Diego. So if you want to see those videos, those are all the old ones from with the black-ish background. And if you can see the garage in the back, that's the video, basically. Yeah. The most famous awesome, one from yeah. that garage is the 8080. How has your channel started and why you started to make YouTube videos? Charlie's idea yeah. and Jack's execution in the first place with Charlie's help. Actually, I'm gonna refer you to the history video below that we made for 300,000 subscribers and explains how it all started with all the highlights of the roadmap that we follow. Okay, so yeah. Can you guys maybe think of making a minifig scale or UCS scale ATM6? I'm gonna refer you to Jay. He made one and I think it's hard to top. Mike, I often hear you have a little accent. That's the nicest thing I've ever heard about my accent. <laughs> from which country did you origin originally come from? Poland. Russia. Or, sorry, Sokovia. Why don't you have the shield helicarrier? Ask Jack, he refused to buy it when it was on sale. Really? He did. Oh. He said, like, we're not buying it, I don't want it. Why? But, I don't know. Ask come him. on, Jack. Come Ask on. Him. I know you're watching. We can this. mock him, come he's on. not here. I, I, I'm still, like, can't get over it. 
What is work like at Brick Vault Studios? Are the hours long? Do you guys work five days a week or more? First of all, Brick Vault Studios sounds amazing. <laughs> I know, yeah, I love it. I'm so happy. It's about 25 that. hours a day, eight days a week. Yeah. Okay. We don't leave, we sleep here. Which is convenient because, you know, there's like a shower, so. It's a big studio, yeah. so creative jobs are always about putting the hours yeah. in and like sometimes I do stay late. It's to not, videos. <laughs> it's, you, yeah. you gotta love it. This is, a, this is not a uh, kind of just like come in, you know, like do something, do the same thing for eight hours straight. Yeah, you do like more like a logistical job, so oh, you yeah. can like limit your time. Yeah, no. Kind I of, but for an editor like me, it's, it's yeah, like about getting the project like, done yep. <laughs> and sometimes like your program crashes or you have to do more research or get more graphics in, I do stay late. Yeah. So. Jack actually does live here. <laughs> he, he, he actually does, like, yeah. he pulled off an, one nighter before the vacation. <laughs> Mike, who do you like working with the most, Jack or Ramon? You guys are really amazing. The most I like working with is this brick separator because that's more useful than these two weirdos. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> no, honestly, like, the guys are great. Everybody, I think, has a role here in the studio, so... You already said your truth. I did. I, I, I prepared that question. No, seriously, it's like everybody has a role, so it's about, uh, like kind of a teamwork. So I like working with the guys. I hope the guys don't hate me as much. <laughs> what about you, Ron? Oh, t yeah, everyone's awesome. You know, just like it's so much fun here. Uh, people are so great to work with. And... Jack gives you the best time. Oh. Mike, what brought you to San Diego? My wife's uh, scientific career, to be honest. She, she got a job here and we moved from Poland. Ramon, why are they holding you captive? Um, I'm glad you finally noticed because it's just... I can't read that name. Can Charlie make more videos on the channel? He's an awesome guy. I guess he would love to, but Charlie is super busy with his gaming channel, Level Cup Gaming. If you haven't seen it yet, I'm gonna link it below. He's gaming a lot, he's in the same office, whenever he has time or a moment, he sneaks out of his office and builds a lot of mocks with us. Yeah. But he's, he's working on mostly his own videos, so maybe you can guys ask him on his channel yeah. if he wants to maybe yeah. do a video. He likes or... to, so... He likes to, he's a pretty good video. Yeah, just, just like a little push, maybe he will make a, a, at least one video. Okay, last question. Ooh. How did you guys find Ramon? It's a quote, Ramon. <laughs> oh, sweet. <laughs> um, well, I, I, I stepped late uh, one day in the office and I heard this weeping outside the door. It was raining, it was really like this like, you know, very like sad day. And like, he was like just crumbled in there hiding from the rain. So I let him in. Didn't have many layers. Gave him some water, some food, gave him a blanket and now he's a very loyal employee. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Captive. <laughs> yeah. Uh, all right, guys, um, I hope that answers some of your questions. Um, to be honest, I want to maybe do more Q&As. Yeah, no. From time to time. That'd be cool. It's not going to happen very often, but every so and then we're going to try to make that happen. So I hope you guys will have your questions answered. And we also answer questions on live stream. So if you want to yeah. tune in for a live stream, go ahead, ask questions. We try to be really interactive with you, I hope. <laughs> That's, um, okay, I'm gonna stop now. Thank you guys so much for watching. It was brick block number, I think, 29, if I'm correct. Thank you so much. And uh, we'll see you in the next video uh, on Brick Vault. And uh, yeah, click that uh, subscribe button, click the like buttons, click the bell button if you like what you see. And we'll see you next time. You should say on Brick Vault. I know. What? We're just gonna stay there because we don't know what to, how to end. On Brick Vault. Okay, bye-bye. <laughs>